when I think about the topic of lack and peace in my life, it's difficult to explain that journey without mentioning an experience that I've gone through that has taught me a lot about the spiritual life in that way. So for me, when I was 23, I was diagnosed with a tumour in my spinal cord. And so because of that, I've had to learn how to walk again twice. And in both of those journeys, it was about a year of learning to walk. It was very, very slow and very painful and very lonely and isolating. And obviously in both of those experiences, there was loads of mental turmoil and loads of questions, questions about faith and also, yeah, just wrestling with God. Um, but for me, actually through those experiences, I learned a lot about the spiritual journey itself. So as I was out like, walking often, I was just feeling so angry and frustrated and I would feel like I was putting in loads of work. And I wasn't really improving at all. Um, and it was only really when I look back, maybe a year later, that I would see the progress. And I think that um, the spiritual journey is often like that. It's little by little. It's slow. It's daily choices that we make. But there was, some, there was a discipline that I learned in that time. And for me, as I was out walking, often I would walk past churches really beautiful places and I think because I was searching and I was struggling so much I just had this desire to go into the churches and sit there or it could have been in nature um one of the places I would have went to is just a beautiful river that was near my house and I would just go and sit there um but yeah it was during that time that I started going into churches and I would just sit and sometimes it was maybe 15 minutes and sometimes it was an hour and I think I would go to those places and I had lots of questions and sometimes I would come away and I would feel frustrated because I felt like I didn't have any answers or that that time with God wasn't really changing me um but just like the physical walking when I look back on those experiences, they were like molding me and changing me so much. And I think that in our world now, there's just so much noise sometimes, maybe especially during COVID, there's so much worry, worry about our family, worry about ourselves, our jobs, our friends. And also there's just, there's a lot of noise. There's lots of agendas and causes and some of those are good and some of them are not so good and I just find sometimes my inside my head can become really noisy and so for me it's been really helpful to just have time in my every maybe not every day maybe like once a week or twice a week where I just go and sit in a church and as I sit there I try I try not even in that time to pray for myself or for others but I try to just focus on Christ and look at him and and be like filled again with the Holy Spirit and to think about what Jesus has done for me and the second thing is that I think if we've done that and we're doing the right thing sometimes there can still be a lot of noise and sometimes we need other believers and other Christians that we trust to speak into our lives to sometimes we can't see Jesus rightly, maybe because of our own shame or guilt or whatever. And sometimes we need another boy to help us see things how they really are. 